Hi and welcome back to my channel. Can you find the area of this triangle? Now this is a problem shared on Twitter by somebody called Iger Tiger Geometer. So check them out if you want to see some more interesting problems. Now what I will do is I'm going to label the key points on the triangle. So we've got A, B and C and I've labelled some other points D, E and F as well and the point somewhere in the middle of this triangle, let's call that O. I haven't put that on the diagram but let's call that O for somewhere in the middle there. Or if you want to, we could call it G, couldn't we? Whichever letter takes your fancy. Okay, now I'm going to show you my solution in three seconds. So pause the video now if you want to have a go at this problem yourself. Okay, three, two, one, let's get into it. So, the first thing that I wanted to do is put some angles in. It's equal actual, so they're all going to be 60. And then I wanted to put this line on here. And the reason I wanted to do that is because then I can work out the width at that height up of the triangle. And then hopefully from there I can get the height of this smaller triangle at the top of the larger triangle. Okay, going from B down to what I call D and then across to this new point which I've made with the red line. Okay, now these are parallel, the red line and the bottom of the triangle, so that means this is also an angle of 60. Now, what I want to do there to work out the length of my red line is to look at this triangle. So I've taken that out, as you can see, and I've got it here. We've got a length of 5, an angle of 60, and we're working out the hypotenuse. So we'll call that X. That means, using trigonometry, we've got the opposite and the hypotenuse. So sine 60 is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is 5 over X. And if we rearrange that, we get x is equal to 5 over sine 60. That gives us an answer of x being 10 root 3 over 3. So let's put that on the diagram, 10 root 3 over 3. Now we have got a full width at this height. Can we work out the height of this smaller triangle? So again, let's separate that out. Excuse me. Now we've got 2 root 3 plus 10 root 3 over 3 as the base of that. Can I work the height of that out? Well, I should be able to, because I can split that in half to give me 8 root 3 over 3, and I know that the other side length, the hypotenuse now of this right-angled half of my equilateral triangle, uh, will be 16 root 3 over 3. So I can get the height here by using Pythagoras, which gives me an answer of 8, which is quite nice. So let's put that onto my diagram, that height is 8. Now the full height must then be 8 plus 4 because we've got 4 underneath that in the rest of the triangle. So that gives us a total height of 12 for the full triangle ABC. Now at this point what I thought is, well I can work out quite easily the area of the smaller triangle in the top left of the screen uh, and I've then got a scale factor and if you've watched this, uh, this channel for a while you'll know that I do quite like similar shapes and you know if I can use them I will use them so I'm going to use it in this scenario. The area of the smaller triangle is a half times the base which is 16 root 3 over 3 times by 8. That gives an answer of 64 root 3 over 3, which, using our scale factors, the length scale factor is 12 divided by 8, so 1.5. 1.5 times 8 gives us the 12, but we are dealing with areas, so we need the area scale factor, and that's going to be 1.5, your length scale factor squared, so 2.25. So if we now times the area of our smaller triangle, by our scale factor 2.25, we will get the area of the triangle ABC, which is 48 root 3 units squared. Okay, I hope you liked that. That's quite a neat answer. Um, and there are several different ways that I'm aware of solving this problem. Can you find different ways? Can you find another way? And share it down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please drop a like on the video. It really helps me out. And please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. We're at, I think at the time of filming this, 887. We're on the road to 1,000. I'm really hoping we can get there soon. Um, so, yeah, please, if you're not already subscribed, do consider subscribing. Thank you for all your support. Have a great week, everybody. And I will see you next week, Monday, 5 p.m., for another 
problem solving video as well as I will be trying to fit in can't promise anything but I will be trying to fit in me going through some IGCC past papers because that's I've had a, a request about that and it's something I previously did I went through GCC past papers so I'm going to start hopefully doing that again very very soon so keep a look out for that on the channel thank you for watching like I say have a great week and see you in the next one bye bye right hand this week right hand see ya